Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. In today's video, I will show you all how I refreshed my full house using DIY cleaners with essential oils. We all know that vinegar and baking soda can do wonders. But essential oil can take our home maintenance to the next level by creating a nice aroma. Plus they also have antibacterial and antifungal properties and also acts as an insect repellent. And also I have shared many cleaning tips and tricks throughout the video. So let's dive in. When it comes to cleaning, it's always best to work smarter than harder. Especially when it comes to dusting. With this homemade dust repellent spray, my cleaning time has been cut into half. To make this, I'm combining the above ingredients in a spray bottle. Olive oil is the crucial ingredient here as it prevents the dust from accumulating. And I've got some basic cleaning accessories like microfiber gloves, extendable microfiber duster and broom. First I start by cleaning the most forgotten area of everyone's home that is under the bed. I start by sweeping with this extendable broom to collect all the debris. I'm keeping this dustbin handy to collect the dust and dirt then and there. These microfiber duster and gloves when used by spraying some dust repellent spray acts like a dust magnet and just like that we can tackle the whole home without any fancy gadget as it makes the manual cleaning very easy. Using this spray, I am wiping off the dust from the rest of the bed frame and the bedside stool. Next, I am moving on to cleaning the windows which are prone to dust and bugs. First, I give a quick refresh by wiping off the window sill and grill with the dust repellent spray. Then comes the real task that is cleaning the window tracks. But with this sponge tray, cleaning the window tracks becomes so easy. For this, first I place the sponge on the track and mark the grooves, then I cut the sponge along the marked points. Then after wetting the sponge, I am fixing it on the track and sliding it back and forth. I was both disgusted and satisfied to see the amount of dirt that has been collected. Then with the same dust repellent spray, I am giving the glass a quick wipe. In another video, I have shared the tips and tricks to keep the glass doors and windows sparkling. I have given the link in the description. If you want, you can check it out. Then using the very same spray, I am giving a quick wipe for all the doors, wardrobes, Cabinets, furniture and open shelves around the whole house. This spray mop is very convenient and effective to clean the vertical surfaces as well.
Although I clean the dining table after each meal without fail, the chairs are often neglected, especially the cushion seat which can harbor bacteria, as it kept absorbing food spills and collecting dust. Hence, a regular cleaning keeps the cushion fresh and extends its life. After dipping the scouring sponge in warm water with a few drops of lemongrass oil, I'm giving a nice scrub to the cushion. After adjusting the temperature, I am giving a quick press using my hand box for easy drying. But before doing this, carefully check the material of the cushion and then proceed. If not, dry them under the sun. Now it is not only clean but aesthetically pleasing as well. Next, I am going to cover the scratches using these wooden touch-up markers that comes in 4 different shades. I'm doing the same to our bed frame as well. I definitely believe that doing this gives a brand new look to our old furniture. Next, for cleaning the fan, I'm adding a few drops of lemon essential oil to one cup of warm water. I'm taking an old pillow cover and wetting it in the prepared solution. Next, I'm sliding the blade inside the cover completely and pulling it out. This helps the pillow case catch the dust inside and it saves our time from sweeping afterwards. After removing the cobwebs from all the corners, I am going to take care of the wall that is left with few scribblings done by my son and the cycle tire prints as he loves to ride his cycle around the home. I was able to remove the pencil scribblings using the eraser but not the tire prints. But with the help of rubbing alcohol, I was able to get rid of it. I have taken a few drops of alcohol in a rag and gently rubbed it against the stained wall and the tire marks comes off easily. And this cannot be done frequently as it might remove the wall paint. So we have to be mindful by doing this. Then using the rubbing alcohol, I am also removing the stains from the switch boards. Next, I am preparing a cleaning solution for the mirrors by combining vinegar, alcohol, essential oil and the secret ingredient cornstarch. Mirrors are not so smooth as we think. Since it has many micro bits and water tends to be caught in it and resulting in water streaks. But the cornstarch breaks the water bonds and gives a shining and spotless mirror. Next, for cleaning the kitchen cabinets, I'm adding a cup of hot water and a spoon of degreaser to a spray bottle. As the name suggests, the degreaser gives extra power and helps to cut through the tough grease and other stains with a simple wipe down. This cleaning solution is perfect for cleaning the kitchen backsplash, stove and outer surface of fridge, oven and chimney. Next, for cleaning the tiles, I am going to combine the above ingredients. The baking soda and vinegar together bubbles up and forms a nice foaming mixture. Using a toothbrush, I am scrubbing the corners of my utility area where it becomes dark due to collection of dirt. After letting it rest for a while, I am cleaning it with water.
outside the bathroom door and the entrance door or the other places where the floor discoloration was seen due to the build up of dust and dirt hence i'm scrubbing this paste in those areas and wiping it off with a dry cloth after 10 minutes And finally, I am using this DIY floor disinfectant cleaning solution to mop the floor. I hope you find this video helpful and motivating as well. If yes, give a thumbs up and leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section. See you all again with another interesting video. Until then, bye. Take care.